This Frontiers mod changes everything. Enjoy the video. Oh my god, is that radical? So this mod is called Hedgehog May Cry, and given for the name, it's definitely Double May Cry inspired. Oh, and the first Guardian. So what this mod does is actually, it overhauls the combat to make it more faster paced and straight to the punch, similar to Double May Cry, and it just makes combat a whole lot better. Like, the one problem I have with the Frontiers combat is that, like, combat felt slow paced. I mean, it was good. I still prefer a Warhog better. But the combat felt so paced at times. I mean, I when I like combat, I prefer like fast paced straight to the punch combat, and this mod has it a lot, and I love it. Okay, silver hammer, all right. And also the guardians and enemies have length for your health bar, so it makes it even better. Like look at all the animations here. It's just like straight to the punch and fast paced, and I love it. It's so good. And I don't play much Devil May Cry. But from what I played, the combat in that game is so good. And Kishimoto said that they originally were going to take inspiration for Devil May Cry. I have a Devil May Cry or Bayonetta style combat. But I guess due to limitations, they couldn't redo that. So we had the combat we ended up with, which I, I enjoy the Frontiers combat a lot. But this mod just makes it so much better, in my opinion. And second Guardian down. And uh, Konuchi. That's he pronounced it right. It's probably the best one to go for for this... Uh, Mod right here. Okay, shoot. Nice. Yeah, but like, I heard that um, Kishimoto said that they've been looking at the mana community for this game, and they've been taking inspiration though too. Like they added uh, no camera move, like no cinematic cameras for the combat animations and all the stuff too. So, so hopefully when we get a Frontiers two in the future, like we get a combat that's similar to this. Cause, dang it, I died. I haven't played this game in a while though, so. That's why I haven't really been using my parry much. But knowing, like, given the fact that, like, they're hiring more people for Sonic Team and, like, getting a bigger budget next time, we'll probably get something like this, which would be pretty nice. Okay, so, dang it. Okay, cool. Did a spin dash move. Nice. Okay, Phantom Rush. Dang it. Forgot to parry on time. Knee ring, knee ring, knee rings. Nice. Okay. Dang it. Nice parry. Cool. Okay, cool. Look at this, like, it's just... This mod makes, like, combat even more satisfying. It has a, like, anime, like, feel to it, too, which I love. Because Sonic is definitely a shonen character. Okay. Tough. Knee rings, knee rings, knee rings! Should've kept parry. Okay, dang it. Okay. Dang it. Need to stop fumbling. Okay. Cool. Dang it. Always that one ring I keep uh, losing. Okay. Wow. That just cancelled. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, cool. Parry. Nice. Okay, almost done. And end off with the... Uh... Okay, that works. Nice, so he's defeated. It's also not just a combat mod, but also a physics mod too. So you get to play it in open zone and side space. And open zone controls pretty well. I wouldn't recommend using the side space though because like it's a bit too fast for looking. And I recommend other mods to get a better side space experience, but it's no problem at all actually. We're playing bosses right away because I want to fight against the Gino with this uh, mod on. Okay, cool. But Squid's pretty, like, also a nice boss to go for with this mod. Dang. Yeah, I had to go with, like, a couple phases, too, actually, which is nice. Don't care about the lasers. Cool. Okay, cool. Dang it. My parry didn't come out on time. Wow. Tough. Wow. They had to be in a certain position in order to- Oh, damn! Oh, wow. Almost done with him. Okay, gotta be careful here. I don't want to lose the rings. Because once you get hit, you lose all your rings. Unfortunately. Be careful here. Cool, nice. Okay. Okay, nice! See, this is so much fun. Cool. 
Okay, cool. Nice. The powers are pretty satisfying to go for against. Because of the, uh, you can just, like, boost up here and just, like, just keep spamming your attacks, which is nice. Oh yeah, Zora! It's also a pretty good one to do, even though it's pretty straightforward, though. You have to, like, hit the tower, but it's so satisfying. Actually, can I... Yeah, I can go up here! That's so satisfying. Okay. I don't know, I'm, I'm not- I'm supposed to go- actually, okay, the lasers are here. Don't hit the lasers. Okay, camera shake! Crazy. Damn it! Okay, cool. Nice, so that's phase two. And now it's finished oh, already! Look how crazy that is. I can't wait to go for this boss, actually. Alright, on to the Chaos Emerald. Let's go super. Cool. Let's see how this is, actually. It's like, you know, boost seems a bit slow down, though. Okay. I did not know there was a supposed to be a parry attack. Okay. Pop. A lot more wind fear, too, actually. Okay, cool. Parry. Nice. Okay. Okay. Nice. Parry. Okay, cool. Parry. Nice. Okay. Good amount of damage done. Cool. I've always thought the laser will come out. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, I can't do the trick at all. Okay, cool. Nice. Hey, I'm cooking with these parries, though. Hey, cool parry. Sweet. Nice. Okay. I think phase two was the story. Yeah, phase two. Dang it. Like, the boss feels long, but it's satisfying though, because the mod. Okay, cool. Nice. Parry. Nice. Nice. Like, dude, this... Whoever, like, honestly... Okay. See, like, stuff like this is just so satisfying. I forgot to parry again! Okay, cool. Parried. On time. Okay, nice. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Nice! I love those slow motion parries. Bumbled again. Okay. Almost done. Usually there's like this like island in this boss which will get me around like five like under like four minutes, but like with the combat and like many of these bosses, it's like seven minutes max, which is not a bad thing though. But like this mod already makes combat satisfying enough. And we're almost done. Yep. Yeah. We are... Okay, nice. We are finished with the Geno. This boss is just so good, man. The music and everything just makes it so good. But yeah, definitely recommend checking this mod out if you have Frontiers for PC. Links in the description down below. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>